Okay. Welcome back to this channel. You want to stop this nation for the latest in entertainment news, controversies and insights. Today we dive into a breaking and controversial story involving none other than Sean Diddy Combs. The hip-hop mogul who is currently behind bars has issued a cease and desist order regarding a documentary on his former protection. This drama has taken the entertainment world by storm and we are here to unpack everything you need to know. Let's jump in it. For those uh, just uh, tuning in, here is the backstory. Sean Diddy Combs, a global music icon and business mogul, is currently serving jail time over charges related to sex trafficking. Despite his current circumstances, Diddy is still very much in the headlines. The controversy erupted when a documentary centered around Shen Didi's former protege and fellow hip-hop artist surfaced. Reports state that Didi sent a cease and desist order from jail attempting to stop the release of circulation of the documentary. The million dollar question here is why Didi so opposed why did is Didi so opposed to this documentary and what does this mean for his legacy and Shin's story to understand the weight of the situation we need to delve into Didi's legacy and his connection to Shin Shin born Jamal Michael Barrow was signed to Didi's label Bad Boy Records back in the late 1990s their relationship was, bo was both professional and personal. However, things took a dramatic turn after the infamous nightclub shooting incident in 1999, which led to Sean serving a 10-year prison sentence. Many argue that Sean took the, f the fall for Didi during the trial. During the trial, rather. Fast forward to 2024 and Sean's story is being revisited in this new documentary. This raises the question, does Didi feel this documentary will shed light on details head rather keep hidden or is there more to the story? Now, let us focus on the cease and desist order. Lego experts suggest that Didi's team might be arguing defamation or the inclusion of unverified claims in the documentary. Cease and desist orders are typically issued when someone believes their rights, whether intellectual, personal, and reputation, are at risk of being violated. However, the fact that Didi is, issue, is issuing this order from jail adds an entirely different layer to the drama. It suggests that even behind bars, Didi is deeply concerned about his public image and how his legacy is perceived. But let's not forget this could also be a strategic move to delay or manipulate the documentary's release. What do you think? Is Didi protecting his legacy or He's trying to hide something. The entertainment industry and fans have not stayed silent on this. Social media is buzzing with opinions. Some fans are supporting Didi, arguing that he has every right, right to protect his legacy. Others believe this documentary is Sean's chance to tell his side of the story, a story that has been overshadowed for decades. In the industry, insiders and critics are spread. Some believe this documentary could finally provide a complete picture of what went down in the 1999 nightclub incident, while others feel it could unfairly vilify Didi. Let's look at a few tweets and comments. Here are they. If Didi has nothing to hide, why stop the documentary? Sean deserves to tell his story without interference. Didi has worked hard for his legacy. Let's not ra rush to judgment. To get um, a deep perspective, we um, oh, let's have one a Lego expert specializing in entertainment, law, and um, 
a music industry journalist and um, here are the questions and what they feel what are the legal grounds for Didi's seize and desist order and how likely is it to succeed could this documentary damage Didi's legacy or will it simply add to his mistake how does Sean perspective add to the complexity of this story and here is what uh, what these people answered from a legal, a legal standard a legal standpoint did could claim determination defamation of violation of privacy however public figures often face an uphill battle in such cases unless they are they can prove malicious in, uh, intent of falseholds this situation is layered Didi's legacy as a music mogul is undeniable but the nightclub incident is a controversial chapter Sean documentary might finally bring clarity to unanswered questions which could either exonerate or implicate Didi further before we wrap up let's check out some of um, some more reactions from the fans and entertainment community it's clear this story has uh, struck a call a chord uh, with many as we close it is important to remember that this story is about more than just did it shown it is about how we as so we as associate uh, we as a society handle legacies accountability and the right to tell one's story what is your take on this situation do you think did is cease and desist uh, is a justified or is this documentary overdue let us know in the comments below don't forget to like share and subscribe for more in-depth discussions on the biggest entertainment stories thank you for watching we'll continue to follow this story and keep you updated with the latest developments until next time stay informed Stay curious.